Alright, shalom, shalom. Welcome, ladies and gentlemen. My name is Mati Yahoo, your end time watchman, as you see in the middle of the screen there. Thank you guys for joining me. I uh, love all you guys so much. Uh, uh, welcome to all the new subscribers and all the returning subs. Welcome to you guys. Uh, you guys obviously come to the right place if you're looking for truth with no error. Remember, we live in a pretty vexing world, but we do the best that we can. We trust in Yahuwah. Like I put it, I love, that's why I love the shirt. Yahuwah, whenever I am afraid, I will trust in you trust in you um i just had a, a quick talk with a good friend of mine uh, my buddy matthew rexford i want to give a shout out to uh, uh uh matthew's journey love you so much bub um uh but anyways uh today guys i just want to do a quick video uh kind of going with the theme of the last video that i did which was the nature or moral character of yahusha and where can you find that at this video today is how do you love yahuwah and can you love yahuwah so how do you love yahuwah um, I think a lot of people on YouTube have uh, said that it is impossible to love Yahuwah or that you can't love Yahuwah. And this is something that has been propagated on YouTube. That is a lie from the devil. You can love Yahuwah. He wants you to love him. He wants to have a relationship with you. That's what it's all about, having a relationship with our Creator. And it's very, very simple on how to love him. He teaches us how to love our neighbor, right? As we read in the Brit Hadashah and all through the uh, the Torah, the Old Testament, we see the um, in the writings we see on how we are to treat people, right? So how do we love Yahuwah then? If we know how we're to treat people on this planet, how do we love Yahuwah? And in this video, I guess I'm going to tell you a little bit how you can love your neighbor as well. But how do we love Yahuwah? That's going to be the biggest thing. How do we love Yahuwah? So it's very simple, guys. This is how you love Yahuwah. The Ten Commandments, the Ten Words. This is how you love them, guys. It's a covenant of love. And we're going to go through it right now, okay? And I'll put it on the screen here. But it's a covenant of love. Number one is, I am Yahuwah, your Elohim, have no other before my face. That means you have no other deities and no other mighty ones before him. The JC stuff, all that stuff has to go, guys. You have to have Yahuwah as your Elohim. If you love Yahuwah, you'll call him by his name, Yahuwah. You do not bow to images. That means, you know, any any image that you think that could be a stumbling block for you, you might want to get rid of. So the pictures of the cross or the pictures of J-E-S-U-S, get rid of that stuff, guys. You don't bow to images. Christmas trees would be the same thing. Easter eggs, birthday cakes, all this stuff are idols. Do not cast the name of Yahuwah, your Elohim, to ruin. That means saying his name in a different way or putting it in a different light, like saying the name J.C. is just like saying B-A-A-L. We don't do that to our Savior because we love him. He created us and he died for us. We love him, so we call him Yahusha, which is his name, okay? We do not blasphemy his name. That's what this commandment is talking about, blasphemy of his name, okay? It isn't talking about the curse word G-D. That's not it. It's talking about blasphemy of his name, Yahusha. So we don't take his name to ruin. We remember Shabbat, guarded as Kodesh. Every week, every seventh day, we rest on Shabbat, Friday night and the Saturday evening. So Friday evening and Saturday evening, we rest on Shabbat. Um, you guys can feel free to join me this Shabbat, every Friday, 8 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. You guys know I do my Shabbat talks. You guys can join me. Five, respect your father and mother. Six, you do not murder. That means even in your heart. You cannot look at another man or woman with hatred in your heart. Seven, you do not break wedlock. That means in your heart as well. If you look at another man or woman with lust, you've created adultery or wedlock. And that's against Yahuwah as well. When you're celebrating these holidays or doing these feasts or doing worldly things, and you know it goes against Yahuwah, that's committing adultery against Yahuwah, just to let you know that. 
Eight, you do not steal irrespective of its value. Eight, uh, number nine, you do not bear a malicious witness against your neighbor. That means that that also means gossip and slandering. Right? It's not just about lying. Don't gossip and slander against your neighbor. If you have a problem with your neighbor, just go face to face and talk to him. The same with your brother. Take him aside in private and talk with him. Okay. Ten, you do not covet your neighbor's wife, house, field, servants, animals, or anything belonging to your neighbor. Yahuwah says, I am Yahuwah, that is my name. Love me and guard my commands. Love me and guard my commands. Love your neighbor as yourself. Love one another as I have loved you. So how do we love Yahuwah? Very simple, guys. We follow his commandments. That's how we love Yahuwah. That's how simple it is. Okay? Just like the moral character. What's the moral character of our Savior? And where do we find it? Here. How do we love Yahuwah? Here. My video next week will be on what is the eternal covenant, and we're going to get into more of this. This is what it's all about, ladies and gentlemen. Listen, thank you guys for joining me. I love you guys so much. I just want to make this quick video. I know tonight is a pretty interesting night for a lot of, uh, for all of us, for all of America, so we'll see what happens. Um, um, obviously, I don't get into that too much, but I do want to say that I do appreciate you guys uh, joining us, uh, and especially all the new people. You guys can join me live every Friday, 8 p.m. Eastern Standard Time for my Shabbat Talks, where you can join me live, talk with me live. You can uh, go in the live chat and ask me questions, or I put a link in the chat. You can come on live and actually talk with me if you want. Um, but anyways, um, make sure you guys do that. Oh, if you're interested in these videos and, and, they're, and, and they're educational for you or you like the videos and you want to be part of the channel, subscribe. There's a button right down there. Uh, just hit the subscribe button and you can be a part of the channel. Um, and you can get notifications of when I'm coming on. Click that notification bell. That way you guys can know when I'm coming on live and when I do these weekly videos. So if you guys want to catch them. So also, thumbs up. Guys, please, if you like the video, show me some love. I have over 1,200 subscribers. Show me some love. Give me, put that thumbs up. What that does is it's the best way that you guys can support the channel is to give a thumbs up on the channel. It's the best way you can support the channel to get this video out. Plus, share the video with your friends and family. And with anybody that is willing to listen to the, to the words uh, uh, ramblings of a madman, if you want. But anyways, I love all you guys with all my heart. Uh, like I said, join me every Friday for my Shabbat Talks. Live eight, uh, I go live 8 p.m. Eastern Standard Time every Friday for my Shabbat Talks. And I do these weekly videos for you guys, so I hope you guys enjoy them. Um, I'm going to go ahead and get on out of here. Like I said, it's easy to love Yahuwah, guys. Just follow his commandments. Be obedient. It's not hard. We make it seem like it's hard because we let the world and Hasatan get in our brains. Just we have to stop doing that. Anytime you feel that you're being led somewhere that you shouldn't be led, ask yourself, is this what Yahushua would want me to do? Is this Yahushua leading me this way? Go to your scriptures. Read your scriptures. Pray. Draw near to Yahushua and Hasatan will, run, will get away from you and run away from you. Trust me on that. He ain't going to leave you alone forever. But he'll get away from you in that moment. So it's not hard to trust in Yahushua. And it's not hard to love him. So that's it, guys. The Ten Commandments. That's how you love Yahuwah, our creator. It's very simple. It's, and that's how we should keep it. Very simple. Listen, I love you guys with all my heart. Let me get ready here. You guys know how I am at the end of all my videos. If you guys are new, then you'll kind of get used to my mantra at the end of all my videos. And if you guys are returning subscribers, please say it with me. Remember, I love, love, love to say this at the end of all my videos. Run to Yahusha.